How's it going everybody? It's Prod here. And we are back on Lords of the Fallen. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've played this freaking game, but we are back because today this video is sponsored by CI Games. So today they wanted me to come out and play the game again because it has been a little while since I played it. The last time we played it was pretty much when we were getting this helmet. When we were grinding out the invasions to get the full PvP armor, I wasn't able to continue. But this helmet still is so sick and was one of my favorite parts about this game. That they actually cared to give something to the PvP side of it. But there's been tons of updates to Lords of the Fallen. I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to put them in one hand unless you're an alien that has about 30 fingers because that's how many updates there's been to this game. From random quest lines to give you awesome looking armors to inventory expansions and actually having something in the hub area where you can just kind of store your items, split PVE slash PVP scaling, and literally a quest that gives you a golden bucket. And the best part, it was all free. And just recently, they're putting out a new update for this, which is a full-on straight-up boss rush. Not only can you fight each individual bosses, now there's a couple locked in here because, well, it happens to be some of the bosses for the other endings, which I haven't ended up doing. We are on New Game Plus right now. So they give you a, basically a set of bosses, and your goal is to try to beat them without dying. Now, I will be trying that here, but if you want to be like me, which, who doesn't want to be? Check out the link in the description. It has a link that takes you to the game and it's actually free on Game Pass if you happen to have Game Pass. Now on Xbox and PC. So thank you guys so much if you check out the link and help keep the lights on. I appreciate it very much. Now let me go out here and actually show off a couple different things because like I said, we are in New Game Plus, sort of in like the beginning of it. I wanted to go through one of the areas that I was at. So right now, by the way, with one of the updates that was present in the game, which I don't even know if people knew about, but they actually added a full on straight up randomizer, like a completely customizable randomizer, which is something that I've never seen like another Souls like do, which is freaking so sick. Now, I did very quickly want to showcase a little bit of that and show you guys actually how it kind of works. So whenever you're making a new character, you go over here and you see the advanced game modifier. Whenever you start the actual game, Guampo lover. You have all the different modifiers and you can kind of really pick what it is you want. You could go absolutely bonkers and have literally everything. You can have only a few. You can make the game easier. You can make the game harder. And I think that's the cool part about it. You can actually turn it into a completely different game, have pre-upgraded loot, which essentially makes it so you can use anything, randomize the loot. You can turn it into a roguelike even, where you have one life and then that's it. Let me know if you guys want to see a run of this. It might be kind of interesting. But for these specific modifiers, you do indeed need to start a new character. So right now we have enemy density increase and minor vestige decay. Now these are the ones that came with the character by default. You could change them if you want. If I wanted to have a whole new playthrough, I would have to start a new character. But I did want to try out some of the boss rushes. So I actually wanted to see because... Now, one of the things that was the hardest about this freaking game... The last time that I played it was the fact that the amount of enemies, especially in this area, is so insane. Even though it was improved, but by the time that I was playing it, that wasn't really changed yet. But I wanted to see how it does actually compare to when I had a full-on straight-up... Where's the guamp? Where's the... Yeah, I know he's here. There he is. No, I got the... No, I got the guamp. Did I get him? Oh, ignore you know, the fact that I was pressing the wrong button. Listen, it's been a hot minute since I played this game. Pretty much the last time I played it was when I got, ow, this cool helmet as well, which actually was a really sick ass event. But like I was saying, you know, with some of the updates, one of the big things that was improved and I remember was the fact that the enemy density was decreased. Because there were a lot of people that that was kind of like their biggest criticism about the game, which I do agree that it was one of the things that was kind of insane, but I'm glad that it was actually made a little bit better and a lot of people were not gonna experience it the way we did in the beginning except kind of you can now with the enemy density change Ooh, now one thing i did forget is how freaking strong this weapon is i think this was the last thing i upgraded because i was like this weapon doesn't seem good until you get it to like fully max upgraded level but once you do upgrade it god this thing is disgusting buddy can you come down here thank you what a kind soul he is to come down here voluntarily all by himself. One thing I'm actually curious about as well. So 
last time that I played this, we obviously still have the same build, but one thing that has changed, maybe, pretty sure this is, no, oh, not that way. Okay, well, that way, but in not such a scary way. One thing I wanted to see was how freaking strong my pyro build still is. This thing was kind of a beast. Oh, is this thing decayed? Yeah, this thing is completely broken down. So this is one of the things that is part of the modifier, the decay. But I guess this kind of works as a sort of quick vestige seed. Which do we want to put it here? No, I think we're okay. Okay, so it does still seem very strong, but it does seem to have maybe lost a little bit of his luster since I last played it. There we go. Woo! No, I think it's still strong. <laughs> I think it's still really strong. Wait, did he summon another dog friend? Yo! Come here. Now, that is one of the nice things, right? If we had, like, randomizer, this would all be different. And quite possibly really, really scary. But it seems sort of okay. Even with the enemy density, I still feel like it's not too crazy but i think there's also levels to it so it can be absolutely worse oh double hit all right let me see what about so i remember when you used to mix that with the fire and light things on fire that thing would do just so much damage I should be able to handle this thing. How scary could it be? All right, let's see what it was that killed somebody. It's always the shrimp there. Hi, Ron. Oh my God. Heal. I'm here to event. I'm here to avenge you. Got him. Oh. And I'm back, baby. Somebody's gonna have to avenge me from that son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, this was the last one I had, I think. Oh, actually, kind of perfect. I can't remember if I've killed this boss in New Game Plus yet. Oh, ah! I really want to go try out this new uh, boss rush crucible. I guess we have either individual bosses or we can just straight up go do a crucible. So we have the Crucible of Faith, of Fire, of Light, and then there's three locked ones. I don't even know what these locked ones could be. I guess first, might as well try the very first one that's here. So we have Pieta, and we get a reward of, I believe, I think that's a chicken. It's kind of cool that we can actually do it from any one of the uh, vestiges. Oh, holy Aureus. No, I do oh, like her. She's one of my favorite bosses. The strength to continue to Yo! endure these dark days. That's a cool uh, helmet. All right, now it's been a couple months. You're going to have to go easy on me a little bit, okay? I cannot brook. Who's Brook? My name's Chonculate. A deer helmet. There we go. Maybe this will make me better. Oh, she dodged that one. Ow. And I'm dead. Not yet, baby. Probably should have checked if I was fat rolling. Um, a second tries to charm. Oh, man. I forgot how freaking fast she is. Now, I actually have not fought the Umbral version of her because it does change. Okay, she made that area scary. I won't be over there. I want to clip her wings. Now, I really want to hit her with some type of spell, but I think I'm out. To hit! Nice. Alright, which side are you making scary? These two? 
So I think that is different from what I remember. Oh. No, no, no. Heal? Tiny bit? This is so not going to end well. Okay, we finally dodged it. Does that burn her feet a little bit? It did. Oh my god, I thought she grabbed me. I thought I was dead. Which side you making scary? These two? Okay. Yeah, Freaking clutch! I can't believe I actually survived that in this form. I do still like the weird jelly goop that she turns into. All right, Crucible progress, one of three. Boss number one dead, one dead. Now we have the Congregator of flesh which i think we have kind of the perfect weapon for him still also one of the coolest freaking bosses just a giant shark i never realized by the way how long his one fingernail is the congregator of flesh i know you got a guampal on you where's it oh, i see it Where is it? There it is! Am I dead? Holy shit! No, now nah, I'm dead. That's fine, I lived last time like this. We'll do it again! Alright, couple hits. Oh! Oh, we're good. I thought it was attacking. All right, almost halfway. Woo this freaking boss is so crazy. Okay, I need to use the freaking hammer more. That's where the damage is. Oh, I'm dead. No, we're good. I healed in time. Oh, shit. The wave of bodies is always scary. Wait, am I poison? I'm under him. I don't think that's going to reach him. Close. Dead? One more? There we go! The Congregator of Flesh. Otherwise known as Greg. Hi, that one was a little bit uh, on the simpler side than PETA. One thing I do wish that you would get though are the, uh, the echoes for this. And we have one more, the Hushed Saint, which is definitely a step up in difficulty compared to the other two. Oh wait, no, this is one of the early ones. This is the guy with the horse. I remember this guy. I was thinking of a different boss. Oh man, that poor horse was under all those trees. All right, the Hushed Saint. Deflect that one. I think I missed though. Oh! Well, I'm dead. And not yet. We're back. Alright, where are you gonna be? 
Let's see if I can do one of my favorite things to do against this guy. Oh, damn it. I thought it was going to come out. I keep missing the deflex. Don't run into that tree. That mucky horse. Oh! Oh, yeah. I forgot you can also just hit them. And they come out. Damn it. I keep getting run over by the horse when I'm trying to deflect. Come on. Come on. No! Okay, I almost got run over by that shit again. You slimy little horse. Charged. R2. There we go. Okay, now he's buffed. Okay, sweet. I'm glad I got to hit him with that. Horse attack. Oh, right on time, baby. And hit him with that. Oh, I forgot he gets his weapon way faster in this form. Honestly, it's a good thing he went away. I had no stamina. <laughs> okay, I forgot he pops out that fast. Oh. Okay. We're out, basically. Is he going to pop out fast? Send out the horse. Might be a bad idea. I should have done it. I'll do it again. Oh, he left. No, I didn't get the repost. Shouldn't have done that. No stamina. I may have cost myself this. Okay. As long as I can keep getting a few seconds of healing. And I don't get hit by this next attack. Oh, God. I got hit by it. You ass. Ah. Another one? Get hit? Yes! My trusty fire hammer always coming to bail me out. Done and done. The first of the crucibles. Man, I forgot how uh, tricky that damn guy and his horse can be. I will say, I remember the first time that I fought him, the amount of times that he used to run away back on his horse and keep doing that over and over. I don't know if that's one of the things that was improved, but so much better now all right so now we did them all and our first reward which i believe we got already a small assorted currency bundle a small selection of gold coins severed hands cloudy eyeballs mm, delicacies used to purchase radiant items inferno items and umbral items oh my god it gave me a hundred holy hell okay i did not expect it to be that much for all of that holy Shit, that's worth it. I actually have 123 of the invasion hands now. But that is actually pretty freaking sick, man. I didn't expect it to be that much. So the other one, you get 20 of the things that allow you to buy, like, boss armors and boss weapons and stuff. I just want to see this real quick. Hello, a deer. Good to see you, old buddy, old pal. It's been, a, it's been a hot minute. Oh, yeah, I did get the pants. I forgot about I did get the pants. But we need 350 for the gauntlets and 350 for the armor as well. Or we could donate it, but I won't do that. Shh, a deer. What do these give you? So this one gives you gold? Probably. Damn, this one is way longer. <laughs> I chose the first one to do. Because now that makes me look even better. Oh my god, this one will give you a ton of hands. So this one just is a bucket of hands. 
This thing would give you like 200 hands. I might have to do this one as well, man. But for now, we'll leave it there. Uh, I just wanted to showcase a little bit of the Crucible. Show you guys how the game looks after so many updates that the game has had. I mean, just the amount of like new quests and items that this game has had added to it is freaking insane. Like, if you guys ever wanted to go back and play, of course, now would be easily the best time with the new Crucible update. Thank you again to CI Games for sponsoring the video. I'm glad I got to play the new Crucible. And honestly, I kind of want to do that last one and see if we can get those hands because listen i need that pvp armor i do once again the link is in the description if you guys want to check the game out for yourself it always helps me out thank you guys so much for always uh being awesome and if you made it this far a like is also very much appreciated have yourselves a good one and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye everybody